Good morning, Grade 5. How are you? Uh, today, inshallah, we will start lesson 4 in Unit 1. Uh, our lesson today is about Bethany Hamilton. Bethany Hamilton is a surfer. We will know now uh, uh, who is a surfer, uh, who practices uh, the uh, sport of uh, surfing. We will know this, uh, uh, we will know everything about this uh, now. But before we uh, do that, uh, we want to know, uh, uh, we will read uh, a small part of, uh, uh, of Bethany's autobiography. What is autobiography? When I read about autobiography, Biography about uh, of uh, about someone. The autobiography is a story uh, is uh, is a story about someone's life. Story about someone's life and autobiography is a, a story about someone's life that is written by the person himself. It is written by the person himself. So the uh, the autobiography that uh, we will read apart uh, uh, from it is written by Bethany. Uh, uh, her uh, soul. Uh, what we will know about Bethany uh, today, we will know when, did, uh, when she started uh, surfing and uh, uh, the kind of bad experience happened to her and how she was determined again and she started surfing and she completed and she became one of the, f of the best and f uh, one of the most famous uh, surfers. Uh, uh, we will discuss uh, the, the experience uh, happened to her and we will have some new vocabulary uh, uh, we will discuss uh, uh, together. But we will read the passage first about, uh, first, uh, about uh, Beth uh, Bethany Hampton. Bethany's story is, as we said, it's a part of her autobiography, about uh, a story about uh, her life that is written by her. Bethany is a professional surfer from Hawaii. At the age of 13, a tiger shark attacked her, biting off her left arm. So, uh, in the first two lines, he told us where, uh, when the, uh, 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 in which age uh, she, uh, uh, the tiger shark attacked uh, her. Uh, and he said in the beginning that she is a professional surfer. Before we uh, com uh, before completing, okay, we have a photo here. This is a boy. Okay, he is riding the waves. He is riding the waves. So this is the surfing. Surfing is a sport. People using uh, a, a board to ride the waves. Of course, if they do uh, uh, this uh, when the waves are very high. There, uh, they choose a special time for doing this. So this is the sport of surfing to ride the waves. So to surf, the verb is to ride. Uh, the waves and the surfer, the noun, as we uh, said about Bethany, the surfer is the one who rides the waves. And we said that she is professional. Professional means that she is very good, she's expert, she knows what she is doing very well, she's excellent. At her job professional, it's an adjective. She is very good and excellent and, uh, and excellent at uh, surfing. Okay, uh, and then, okay, we will complete. She was washed to hospital and despite losing 60% of the blood in her body, she survived. Okay, after the shark attacked her, what happened? They washed, they, uh, uh, they moved, okay, they hurried, they hurried to take her to the hospital, okay, and she lost 60% of her blood. Although, or despite she uh, lost 60% of her blood, she was survived. She stayed alive, she stayed alive, she didn't die, but she survived, she stayed alive even after this bad situation, very bad situation. Not only that, 
But Bethany was determined, was determined to surf again. And a few months later, she was back on her port. Bethany was determined to go back again to surf. Determined means when you insist on, uh, uh, on uh, 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 you, uh, you insist on what you want to do. How? As we said, she had very bad situation that uh, she lost sixty percent of her blood. Okay, and we will know that her arm. Okay, uh, uh, the the shark. Uh, 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 she lost one of her arms. Okay, and uh, in this case, uh, someone else will say, "No, I will not surf uh, again. Maybe I will have another accident." But she succeeded to overcome this, to pass all of this. She was strong enough to say, I'll surf again and I'll, I'll, I'll forget about all of this. Determined to have the challenge to stand again, to do the same thing again, maybe in another way uh, or uh, uh, with new experience or whatever. So to be determined is to insist on succeeding on what you have failed on before okay uh, in 2004 she wrote about her experience in her autobiography as we said Sue Surfer okay so the autobiography's name was Sue Surfer and they did it as a movie if you know about this uh, movie which was made into a major film, as we said, in 2011. Today, she is a world-class surfer. What does he mean by a world-class surfer and an inspiration to us all? She's a world-class surfer. It means she's one of the best surfer, uh, surfers in all over the world. Okay, so a world-class, she's, uh, she's one of the best surfers. And an inspiration. Inspiration is a noun, and when I give you the inspiration, it means um, when I, even the writers, the authors, when they have their inspiration, it means the 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 way they give them the ideas, the thoughts to write. So. Uh, um, uh, maybe uh, of course of us we love our mothers very, uh, very much so I tell my mom you are my inspiration to succeed in life so you are the one who give me the ideas the thoughts everything okay uh, it deals with this the ideas uh, ideas uh, thoughts uh, uh, this is uh, inspiration okay okay uh, we will discuss again the words we um, we uh, got it in the passage. Uh, we were together again to uh, revise it, uh, revise it uh, quickly. Surfer, as we said, is one who rides uh, the waves. And we have an example. My brother is a great uh, surfer. And the verb surf, as we said, is to ride waves or to ride waves, usually on a surf board. My father is riding the waves and taught me how to surf. Professional, someone who is an expert, uh, is doing his, his job very well, fantastically, in an excellent way. Don is a professional in his job. He's doing his work very well, in, 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 excellent, in an excellent way. Profession is a noun and it means job. My father's profession is a doctor. Okay, when well, he said that the shark bit her arm off. When something bite off, okay, or to bite it means to get a, uh, to get a base of this uh, thing, to get this piece out of the surface. So to part is to use your teeth to cut, to remove it, to take it out, to take it out, and that's what the shark did with her. Okay, bite off, bite off means he cut a piece of her, uh, 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 of her out, uh, and uh, that's what happened with her arm. 
this is the meaning for bite, uh, part and bite of, bite off, to cut off, to remove it. While she was swimming in the lake, the piranha bite her, bite her leg. I can say bite her leg off, uh, part of her leg, uh, her leg, both are white. It means uh, took a piece of her leg out, remove it. Rush it to run quickly to hurry for doing something when they rush to take her to, take her to the hospital. I rush to pack my suitcases before leaving the school. I was very uh, in, in a rush, I was very hurry. I had it, sorry. Survived, as we said, even after she lost 60% uh, uh, of her blood, she survived, it means she stayed alive. She stayed alive even after this bad situation. So, stay alive, especially after a dangerous uh, situation. The bus driver had a bad ac an accident. Uh, but he was survived, he stayed alive. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Uh, the rest of the words, okay. Determined, as we said. Who is the determined person? That determined person is the one who insists on succeeding, insists on doing the thing that he wants, okay, uh, uh, even whatever the difficulties, whatever the problems he will face, insists on doing it. So wanting to do something very much, not allowing anyone or any difficulties uh, to stop you. Uh, as example, uh, Alice was determined when she studied and became a doctor, even after becoming a blind, a blind. She lost her sight, she became a blind, but she completed and she succeeded and she became a doctor. Okay, autobiography, uh, a life story or a story uh, about someone's life and it is written by the one himself. For example, I was able to know about Nelson's, Nelson Mandela, uh, okay, the, uh, um, the, the president of Africa, okay, about Nelson Mandela's life from his autobiography. Experience, uh, to have experience, to have a skill, uh, to, have a no to have knowledge, and that's what happened with her, okay, her bad experience. Uh, the experience is what after uh, going in, uh, in something, uh, in a situation, uh, uh, study something, all of this uh, give you experience, skill, uh, information, knowledge. Willard class, as we said, is one of the best. As we said, she is one, she was one of the world class surfers. She's one of the best surfers you know, all over the world. Taha Hussein is one of the world-class uh, uh, writer. I can say writers, or one of the world-class is a writer. This for the new vocabulary and the new words that we learned together uh, in this uh, passage. Now we will move to the grammar part in this uh, lesson. Okay, adjectives with I and J and adjectives with E, D. How I can use adjectives in with I with I and G and adjecti uh, adjectives in, uh, end with A D. The I and G adjectives we use them to describe things or situations. When I say the trip was amazing, what do I describe here? I describe the trip that it was amazing the movie was interesting i'm describing something that the movie is interesting so to describe things situations i use the ing adjectives but the ad adjectives i use them to describe people people's feelings how they feel Okay, for example, I was bored. I describe my feeling that I am bored. I am interested 
or I watched a nice play and I was very interested. I explained, I expressed my feeling how I felt by saying I was interested. So we have some examples here. <clears throat> The party was amazing. What do I describe here? First, I have an adjective ends with ing and I used it to describe what a person or something. Actually, the party. I described how was the party. It's a something, of course, and I used the adjective with ing. Here, I was amazed after watching the play. So I described, I described my feeling after the play that I was amazed. Adjective with a D. The book was boring. I described something. What I described, I described the book. I described the book and I used again the ing adjective. Here, when I was bored, I went to the, sorry, I went to play some video games. So, I described again my feeling that when I was bored, I went to play some video games. Okay, here, <clears throat> sorry, yes, here, the adjectives with AZ. And here we have some adjectives with I and G. Amazed, amazing, frightened, frightening, depressed, depressing, relaxed, relaxing, surprised, surprising, excited, exciting. Yeah. We have now, we have, uh, we will practice together, uh, together. Okay, this small passage. Okay, uh, we will read it together. And actually, he used the he, the following passage is full of mistakes, find and correct it. Actually, it's full of uh, uh, adjectives that uh, uh, they are wrong. He used them in a wrong way. How we will correct uh, this? That's what we we do now. Uh, uh, um, what we will do, okay, we will read uh, uh, two sentences, two sentences, and then we will correct it, and then we uh, go on. I was amazing because my family was going to camp in an excited place that was full of interested sights. Oh, what do you think is wrong here? Yes, yes. Exactly. I was amazing. No, ed adjective. I describe my feeling. I was amazed because my family was going to camp in an exciting place. Something exciting place that was full of interested. The place will be interested. No that was full of or the sights, things around me, the views around me, interesting, interesting sights. First, okay, the, uh, now we corrected what was wrong, we continue. First, we set up our tents and then dad went finishing, uh, fishing, sorry, fishing. I was boring, so I went to explore the place. Oh, I was boring? No, I was bored. I uh, described my feeling, so I was bored. So I went to explore the place. I was, I was frightening in the beginning, but then I was exhilarating oh i was ing adjective no i was frightened okay to be afraid of something i was frightened in the beginning but then i was exhilarating or exhilarated 
to be exhilarated, to be very happy, to be very happy. So I was exhilarated. Suddenly, I heard a sound, and it was so terrifying. Terrifying. Actually, it will be terrifying. No, it will be terrified. Terrified. T e r r i f i e d. We will not have the y anymore. It will be i e d. Terrified. But then a rabbit appeared, and I laughed a lot. This is the grammar part of our lesson. Uh, I hope that uh, you uh, understood uh, the, the new vocabularies and you already got the idea of the uh, part of the uh, of grammar. Uh, see you inshallah the next lesson uh, and I hope uh, that you are all uh, fine. Thank you, great time.